I also feel like if you don't have the money, how are you going to travel? So it also marvels me like, why didn't I think of making money in school? It never occurred to me to make money in school then. I don't just know. It never for one day occurred to me like, okay, can you do business? Okay. <laughs> so it's been long I came on to this channel, but I guess I'm back and I guess I'm better. Okay, so um, sometimes I just like to, you know, flash back and look back on my life because of what I see happening now. You know, social media has caused so much exposure and everyone sees what everyone is doing these days. When you go on social media, you see things like, Oh, my vacation at the Maldives. Oh, I'm heading to Dubai and stuff like that. And you look at these people. These are people who are in their 20s, their early 20s precisely. They are like 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, like early 20s some of them are students and these people can afford to you know go on luxury holidays get luxury stuff for themselves expensive gadgets expensive clothes expensive hair expensive cars for themselves and just makes me look back and like what was i doing when i was in my early 20s when i was in my early 20s i was a student and um what was actually happening in my life when i was in my early 20s what were you what were you doing when you were in your 20s <laughs> those of you that are in our generation eh? Millennials, what were you doing when we were in your 20s? Nigerian millennials, precisely. When, as you grow older, there's so much responsibility that comes your way that you can't really embark on certain things. They won't be that easy for you to pursue or achieve at a certain age because of responsibilities that come with life at that particular age or responsibilities you've piled on based on the, your lifestyle and what you have going on in your life at that time. Traveling is something that I would have really loved to do when I was in my 20s, in my early 20s because I don't know, like it's not so easy for me to travel these days. I have kids who are going to school and you know, even traveling with kids is like stress on its own. So I'm basically talking about traveling alone or traveling with you know, female friends if you have them. These are things that I really love to do in my 20s but I don't know what I was in my 20s today. and the truth is for you to do this, have this kind of lifestyle, you need to make money, you need to have your own money. You either need to be from a very wealthy background or you need to have your own personal money. And that brings me to money. I'm like, I just, I can't really wrap my head around this. Like, why did it never occur to me to make money while I was in school? I always had this mentality, not only Misha, we, we always had this mentality, like most of us, we had this mentality of, you know, go to school, after school, go for a NYSC, after a NYSC, you get to look for a job, a white collar job. So that was what we were, you know, banking on and hoping on to happen for us. Like, I know I had friends then who didn't bother about making money. I'm just thinking like, okay, if I had friends who were inclined towards doing business in school, I felt like maybe my mom that, you know, one, one day deflected towards that direction of, you know, making money or doing business, you know, that kind of a thing. But I feel like then we didn't have so many online opportunities that were available to the younger ones right now. So I feel like, okay, maybe that kind of influence, okay, our decisions in terms of making money because it's going to be difficult for you to, it's not something that can't be achieved, but it's going to be difficult for you to, you know, work in an offline setting, like going to an office or doing something and also working and also attending lectures and going to school. So, I don't know. I don't just know why I didn't, you know, get to that part. Sorry. Things are changing these days. People are trying to make it early in life. And honestly speaking, I feel like it's good for you to start making it early in life because there are some mistakes you're going to make no matter when you start. If you start your business at the age of 30, if you start your business at the age of 40, there are certain mistakes you're still going to make and it's still going to harm you and harm your business. Starting early makes you experience those mistakes earlier. Making your mistakes early in life is very, very vital. It's very good so that you have enough time in the future to correct those mistakes. Talk more of someone who is making a mistake at 60, like when do you have to correct it? You can, but someone who's in the 20s has more chances, you know, of making a better life than someone in the 60s, so that's what I'm saying. Like, when 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 do you get to do this? You have kids now. You've never lived alone in your life. Or like, seriously? You've never had that, you know, privacy, you know, that peace and quiet, you know, that um, freedom to do whatever you want to do in the confines of your own home. You know, you're always like, you've always been with people. 
is either you have roommates or you have family around or you have your husband and you have your kids around so i've never gotten to like be by myself and enjoy my own space enjoy my own company by myself like at my own place decorate my house the way i want leave the dishes dirty the way i want scatter my clothes on the floor the way i want you know stuff like that so when do you get to you know live alone so it's like something that may never happen and you no know, these things are fun when you're um younger but when you get older pff, is it really fun staying alone okay i don't know but i feel like it's more fun when you're younger and you have that freedom peace quiet and everything so i wish i kissed more frogs while i was younger i feel like just like i said earlier the mistake you think you're trying to run away from will still catch up with you when you're um older no matter when you start those mistakes will, will still catch up with you so it's just like saying okay you don't want to date in your 20s maybe because you don't want to be heartbroken um it kind of takes away some experiences from you it takes away some learning points from you as well because there are certain things you you experience in a relationship but when you're in a relationship and maybe that relationship has failed now you have the time to look back you have the time to sit and reflect on what caused the problems in those relationships if the problems are from you if the problems are from your partner you have the time to reflect you know and re-strategize and reinvent yourself to become a better person i wish i i gained more experience in the dating scene just like they say um breakfast go reach everybody so no matter the age you are is whenever you want to date breakfast goes to reach everybody <laughs> so it's better you start learning now start learning about relationships start gaining a little more experience i'm not saying you should go and you know date the whole world but you know have some significant partners who are reasonable and you would learn from of course because not all relationships are going to lead to marriage and that's something i i think i needed to get out of my head when i was younger before even anything starts you feel like i'm going to marry this person now what is going to happen to you you're going to see red flags and you're going to ignore red flags that's what happens just get to enjoy the person get to know this person if you think this person is good for you then you cannot say okay this is someone i want to get married to not stamping marriage in front when you haven't even known who this person is and if this person is even marriage material and that also brings me to fear we're scared of the unknown we're scared of taking risks see risk is part of life calculated risk not just dabbling into things you don't properly think about i feel like i was just playing it too safe there's nothing wrong in playing it safe but don't play too safe that you're almost passive you don't really make moves like you're just scared of you know tackling things head on just be fearless like get out of your comfort zone basically who is calling me oh he's calling me and also this social media thing we're talking about the truth is that <laughs> sometimes eh, i just feel like i'm behind and people are people are ahead of me in life but sometimes you get some calls from maybe friends who you think are doing very well and the requests they're asking you for or what they're complaining about or what they're experiencing in life you will like oh my god i thought this person was far off better or i thought this person was you know killing it in life i thought this person was crushing it in life you begin to wonder like hmm so all this social media stuff you are seeing is just a facade you know it's just like putting up a front but hell don't get me wrong you don't have to put up the rubbish that's happening in your life on social media sometimes social media is just for us to catch crews like me i use social media to catch crews you know i record myself and i put on social media you know i make memories sometimes i you know if i go if i have something like all these first times first time experiences First time stuff happening with my kids i record it and i put it on social media so it's not like you have to put your data learning out on social media but what i'm saying is don't see people's glamorous life on social media and feel like your life is the worst nope there are people who are having it worse than you so it's just for you to pick up yourself dust yourself you know and move <laughs> if you're someone in your 20s watching this video um it's time to just take stock of your life you see you have enough time to be young they give us this um, perception that old age starts at 30 like seriously i sit back and i feel like i'm old but like how old am i really and i look at people who are 10 years older they still look very young and they still do act like kids like 10 years from now you're going to look back and be like 
why was I thinking I was old? Why didn't I do this then? I was actually thinking I was too old to do this. And that's why I, you know, shunned that part of my life or shunned that part of life because I felt like I was too old to do it. No, nobody should tell you that. 20s, you are very young. This is time to take risks in life. This is the time to start up that business. This is the time to, you know, make those mistakes, calculated mistakes, by the way. This is the time to, you know, come out of your comfort zone and see what you can do with your life. Double into life, you know, so that in your 30s, you've done them. You've, and, and those things make you like, know exactly where you're piloting your life to by 30s then you've tried some things and you've seen that they failed but like when you haven't tried anything you're just playing it safe there's so much that you've not tried then you now so those things are like they don't you don't have closure on those things yet so you feel like okay maybe this is where my life should go to this is what should happen to me and you start dabbling into those things and you will start failing at that at that time because obviously it's something new to you you haven't done it before so just like i said fill that business early make those mistakes early in life and pick up your life from there if you enjoyed this video you can give me a thumbs up on this video and if you want to subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it thank you for watching i'm going to see you in another video <laughs> bye